we've put ourselves 100k in debt before and 100k in debt moved across country homeless all at the same period of time because you've just got to put all of your skin in the game timmy with the intro what's up lads everyone joining in so when we were in this situation of 100k in debt it was when we had just moved here but the idea is having absolute faith in the vision in the passion in the goal in the dream that god has called you for and honestly the way i see it is that is one of the things oh sorry hit timmy in the face that's one of the things that makes life worth living having something that you would dedicate everything to everything and that that is having true meaning in your life and we've been <laughs> yeah 100k in debt is brutal Aaron yeah would it affect your credit rating massively not really funnily enough it's like um Yana's pretty smart about it I I I don't know too much of the technical side of it but Yana's a genius like genuinely I, I've been talking about stories recently um and like the art of storytelling a lot of my clients like I love movies we talk about Marvel I'm like I kind of see myself as similar to Captain America who's like leads the team and like ultimately calls the shots but Yana's like Iron Man bro she is a genius and that's obviously goes into the importance of team but I would not have done that and would not have been capable of doing that leading us through that situation if I didn't have someone I could depend on like Yana so I'm not like taking credit for being like we never get it out of this situation just by me kind of thing but yeah it's brutal but it's not that bad like it's fine um look the fact is, it seems brutal, but it's not even that bad. Like, a lot of people are scared of what that would do to them. But the, the the only guarantee in life is, like, if you persist and know how to leverage that debt, that's something we're big on doing. Like, that's something Jan is a genius at as well, is leveraging debt to your advantage. Um, thank you, bro. I appreciate that, Aaron. Um, I'm keen to see more of your content, by the way. Uh, I know you're, you're, you're a very charismatic guy. Um, we talk about that with uh, with uh, the jump piece boys. <laughs> um, so it's it's really important to have that like a team that you can depend on, someone you would go a hundred k in debt with, like Yana from day one. Like back when we were we had like four thousand dollars in our savings, we've emptied out our savings multiple times because of that clear vision of the goal, just pushing. You could say it's like pushing your chips all in, but it's really just dedicating every aspect of your life to to the goal, to the passion, to the calling. And I think that that is absolutely huge when it comes to building a life worth living. It's like Bruce Lee says, the key to immortality is first living a life worth remembering. And something that's really important for that, I'm going to stack on another quote with that, but from the book of James um, in the Bible, New King James is like, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives all liberally without reproach and it will be given to him but let him ask in faith with no doubting for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind i've used that one so many times so many times i've used that verse but that is a huge thing when it comes to this side of things is having that absolute faith no doubt um because it's it's just something that if you know that it's going to work if you can feel it in your giblets like I say, then you'll just do it. And I think that's really what, like I said before, it's what makes life worth living is having something that you would dedicate yourself towards so wholly and fully like that. I'm not saying, obviously you have to be careful because you don't just want to throw yourself into bad, self into bad situations so that you can just be like, wow, look at how much triumph, and then self-sabotage, and then, wow, I've triumphed again. You want to get better and better, which is another kind of tangent Luciana and I have been talking about. But to find something that you care about that much, for us, it's this business. We, we could make millions and we'll put millions back into the business and learning and, and the cause because it's more than just money. It's like understanding that money is a means to an end. And I'm very open about this kind of thing and what many people would consider failures, um, like being in debt like that. It's like showing how we've been there. We've, we've been there. It was all through our choice. Um, obviously, there are circumstances outside of that, but you put yourself in a position where you can be exposed to 
these outcomes. But it's really to show, and we're so open about it, to show that it's possible. You can be successful, not in spite of these things, but because of them, because of um, the possibility for everything to go awry and for life to just go completely haywire, like things to not work out the way that you expect at all. If that is something that you're willing to embrace and just be like, oh, cool, well, this will be part of the journey. This is definitely something that can happen, but something you're willing to accept, then you'll be unstoppable. Like, that's why I'm so open about it as well, because I don't want it to seem like, oh, it's all just sunshine and, and roses kind of thing. It is, like Aaron said earlier, it's brutal. It can be brutal, but the possibility of complete failure, humiliation, is what actually makes the the journey worthwhile pursuing. It's part of what makes the journey worthwhile pursuing because it makes the possibility of the lowest lows is what makes the highest highs possible as well. So a huge part of that is embracing that and finding something, finding someone you would do that with. And for me, that's Yana. These dogs, not that they care too much about that side of things. Um, I'm getting stared at by Zeke because he wants some more treats. Um, but it's having something worthwhile that way. And that is so much a part of my message and what I spread here is like, it's not going to be easy, but that's what makes it worthwhile. You want something worth devoting everything to something that you would, it's like a struggle that's worth striving through and using because you're only going to get better through things like that. If you choose to, if you have that mentality, that mindset, that attitude of I'm going to get better, not in spite of this, because of this. And you have to have those opportunities, like I've talked about other times, to see what you're really made out of. Because if you don't ever try, you're not going to know what you're made of. Truly, you could be like, oh yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that. And I've seen it. I've seen a lot of it. Guys that go like, oh, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'm going to be, I'm different. I'm built different. And they get there. And then they just crumble under it. And that's okay. I don't, I don't judge anyone for it. But it's understanding that that is really what makes life worth living. That's what the top people do and are willing to take on. And I think it's lots of fun as well. Obviously, you don't want to always put yourselves in those situations. And if you keep doing it, not by choice, then you can, or even by choice, you'd be like, all right, I, I'm not doing something right here. Um, but... It's important to realize that that's a part of it. And that's a part of why we do it as well. We expose ourselves to probably some of the more extreme situations. I know there are more extremes, but out of most of the people we know, these are pretty extreme circumstances to be in. But being open about that is only going to help more people because we are blessed in the sense that we are the type of people to be able to handle this. We know we have God. We know we can go and we have We've been blessed with certain attributes and each other, Yana and I am talking specifically, to be able to depend on each other through these circumstances. And then sharing that is only going to help pull more people forward. The right people will be called forward by that and will take action in accordance with it and understand the journey. Because I think, I guess I'll, I'll wrap up this. <laughs> when I say I'm going to wrap up, that's like when my our pastor says, oh, I'm almost done. That's like, you know, they're like 20, 30 minutes left in that sermon. <laughs> um <laughs> So, a lot of marketers want to make it seem like it's easy, like it's going to be effortless, it's all going to be passive, and I get that it, it's intelligent marketing because it plays into um, that side of things, our desire to have that. I just, so much of what I do is based on integrity, and Yana and I have talked about this, with like, even last night we had a big chat about integrity, intentionality with your language and having that feel right. So for us, we very much strive to do that. And we might not always get it right, but we'll always make the corrections, own up to it, be open about it. Mm. Mm. So yeah, I think that that's something that happens. I'm not gonna harp on about what other people do because it's okay. The right people will want to strive through difficult circumstances. What's up, Koi? The 
The right people want to strive through difficult circumstances, but not just for the sake of, oh, terrible circumstance. This is a big applicable thing that Yana and I did. I was the one managing like day to day and I still do that. Um, but the point of it is to also be striving to get out of that situation, use situations or circumstances like that to build a better life, to become better. So it's important, really important to do that. But that's all for this one. Above everything else, just make sure that you keep it all gravy, baby. And I'll catch you guys on the flippity flip. Bye.